And maybe you can even sing it, brother. Because singing is also a very, makes it easy for us to retain our mind, brother. After this, there are no more songs, eh, brother. <laughs> this is the last song in, in my bank account. <laughs> After that, my bank account has a zero song. <laughs> okay. Okay, brothers and sisters. We got that, brother. Now, okay, I think it's time to take a break. Uh, and we will have an, another beautiful verse of the Quran after that. Huh? Let us take a break, brothers and sisters, inshallah. We are back, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> from our break. Now we'll take the last uh, sentence from that exercise, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Number 11. Qala ta'ala fi surat al-furqan. Very beautiful verse, brother. Yawma zarf. And then everything else will be mudafilih. You can feel it, inshallah. Yawma ya addu. Brother, adda ya addu. This is mudaf. Adda ya addu. Adda is to bite. That day, the zalim will bite. What will he bite? Allah yadayhi. So Allah has to come. Adda Allah. Adda Allah yadayhi. Brother, what is yadayhi here? Mudaf mudafili. Do you see something that I see? What do you see, Sister Mahanas? Noon is dropped. What is it? Yadayni. Yadani. Yadayni. Yadayni. And you bring... Mudafilehi, uh, the noon god draft. This also one has to keep it in mind. Huh? Noon god draft. Yawma yaudu zalimu ala yadehi. That day, those who are now transgressing, who are not following the, the injunction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who are not following the guidance of the Quran, what will they do on that day? Huh? They will bite their hands. Huh? They will bite their hands, brother. This is what Allah is saying, you know. Yawma yaddu zalimu ala yadayhi. That day, on that day, the transgressors, zalim, okay, will bite his hand. Yakulu, and he will say, what he will say? Ya laytani. Are you with me? Laita. Remember, what is Laita? Min akhwatu inna. Min akhwatu inna. Fine, brother, sister. Now, Laita has to have a ism Laita. Where is the ism Laita? Ya mutakallim. Are you with me? Nunu vikaya and ya mutakallim. Fine. But why, what is this ya doing here? Harfunida. Where is Munada? Mahzub. Mahzub. You will say Mahzub. Means anybody who is around him, he is telling them, you know, may that person be his friend, or his brother, or his family member, or whosoever. Okay? Ya laitani. Okay. Oh, would that. Okay? Or had I not, you know, Ittakhastu. Ittakhastu. What kind of a verb is this? Man? Form 8. Huh? Okay, now we have to understand more. Huh? There are not too many verbs. Huh? Maybe this is only one, maybe another one. We, we learned that the vow of misal can change into ta. Are you with me? Waka ittaka. Are you with me? Vasala ittasala. Are you with me? So that vow change into ta. Or uh, the ta will change into dal. Or the ta will change into ta. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Now the hamza can also be merged into ta. Okay, watch this, brother and sister. Akhaza. Bring it into form 8. Huh? What will it be? 
هي أتى حزا. Are you with me? Why did I write down Hamza like this? Because it's a kasra. So it got a kursi of ya. Are you with me? Now I'm changing that Hamza into ta. Are you with me? And now I'm making here in the ram. To take. What is the meaning of it? To take. Okay. Ittakhaza. What is the base of it? Akhaza. Now this is only in one or two verbs it is done like that. Okay. Only in one or two verbs. But this is the most uh, important and common verb. Brother. It will come in the Quran. Okay. Ya laytani ittakhastu ma rasuli sabilan. Here, ittakhastu can also mean to follow, to take or to follow. Ittakhada has a lot of meaning, brother and sister. To take or adopt measures or steps, to take or adopt or assume a position or attitude, to proceed, to move, to act, take action, take stand. These are all the meanings of ittakhada. Ya laytani, would that, oh would that I had followed with Rasul the path, okay? Then one more time, Ya Vailata, what is this brother, Ya Vailata, okay? Here brothers and sisters, let us analyze it, huh? Ya Vai la ta. Okay, brother. Ya, what is ya, brother? Harfunida. Fine, brothers and sisters. What is vai la ta? Vai la. What is vai la actually? You know this is vai la. Uh, it comes all the time. Uh, Vailun. You have no, you know this. Vailun lil mutafifina. Uh, you know this. Vailun. But then, why it is <coughs> mansub here? Uh, because, uh, brothers and sisters, here, uh, uh, this is your mudafilehi. What is it? Mudafilehi. <coughs> now, Brothers and sisters, it's coming from Vailun, which is now Vailatun. Are you with me? Vailatun. Are you with me? And then, we are going to study very soon, brothers and sisters, very soon, huh? that what is this, brother? Ya Rabbi. Huh? Which is very easy. Then, this can Take five forms. This can take five forms. You can say, Ya You can say, Ya Ya Rabba. Are you with me? Or it can say, Ya Are you with me? We are going to study this, brothers and sisters. It, in other words, Ya can be dropped. Ya can turn into Alif. Eh? And this Kasra can turn into Fata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We are going to study this in lesson 26. So I'm not going in further detail, but just giving an idea that Ya Rabbi can become Ya Rabbah. 